It's Belgium versus Canada, almost like the European Harlem Globetrotters against Canada, who for me are probably the strongest side in North American football. Great athletes, really disciplined. And unlike the United States of America, they get it. They really do show a little bit of a football brain where naivety, I don't believe, is going to be the problem. I'm just wondering about the individual matchups because Belgium at one, minus 195, a lot of people will probably put Belgium in blind in a parlay with Germany and pick up their winnings. But Canada at plus 525 and even plus one at plus 100 means if they're going to get beat by one, you're going to get your money back. The draw is at plus 340, but Canada are minus 145, uh, Kev, just to score. It's a tricky little game, this, but I fancy that the Europeans will just come out on top, but they'll be given a scare. Yeah, I think they will, and I wouldn't put anybody off backing both teams to score. Um, I think that price of Canada just to score on their own at minus 145 is okay, because I think the matchup works for Canada in some ways, because I think Belgium's back line lacks pace. It has huge experience. We know that. But I think there'll be gaps there. And I think if you look at the likes of, you know, Alfonso Davies, we're not 100 percent sure how fit he's going to be. But Jonathan David is likely to play an attack. And I think he can cause some problems. I think it could be a good group stage for him, actually. And so, I, you know, Buchanan's got pace. I, I, I do like that side of the matchup. But what we do know about Belgium, even though I don't like them as a unit and I don't think they're going to go very far in this World Cup, we know they've got great individuals. And so my focus on this one is on their best player, who is Kevin De Bruyne, who has the ability to make something happen from long range, the ability to score from a free kick. He hasn't got loads of goals for City this season, but if you look at it, he got loads of goals for Manchester City last season. His role has changed this season because Erling Haaland's there. And Haaland wasn't there last season, so he was being asked to do more in terms of the goal-scoring side of it. But, of course, now it reverts, and he may find himself in more goal-scoring positions for Belgium. So he's where I'm looking at. Minus 195 is no good for me. I think that's too short. I wouldn't be interested in that even as a parlay piece. So uh, I think, again, this is one where I look at it and think, well, actually, if I fancy Belgium to score a couple, who are the goal scorers that we might see? So, yeah, Kevin De Bruyne for me. Yeah, Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, the other thing with Belgium is they do score loads of goals. They very rarely keep clean sheets, uh, Stinch. The minus one at minus 120 does look a free hit on paper. I did write down free one. Then we remember we've got very knowledgeable uh, people in the chat. And uh, Jojo said Belgium probably win free one. Funny enough, that's the score I've got, Stinch. Yeah, possibly. I think this is of uh, odds and maybe team strength as the last game we discussed and I'm, I'm going down the same route and and the reason I say that is because again you look at Belgium defensively I mean they, they've got players that probably should have retired from international football and um, the likes of uh, Vertonghen um, uh, uh, you know they're, they're 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 past their best um, lucky to be to be in the squad really um, you know they're not playing at top level football anymore um, you know, the, the, this is basically this golden age of Belgian players. It's their last chance, and their chance is difficult when you have a manager um, like Roberto Martinez, who doesn't have a track record um, of performing at the top level. Um, I'm very surprised that he had the job and he's kept it for so long. Um, and I think there's a bit of a personnel issue right now. Um, I don't think he knows his best team, which is not helped by the fact that Lukaku is injured. Uh, it'd probably be Michy Batshuayi who starts, but you know he's not someone. I think he plays. He needs confidence, and I think if you know you're not first choice, I don't think he goes into this full of confidence. He scored a few goals in the Nations League, and I do like him as a top goal, top goal scorer outright bet if it does all click. But I'm not. I'm not convinced. He got hooked in a in the friendly last week against Egypt, which they lost two one. Um, Eden Hazard, who knows where he, what his level is at. Um, so then you're asking an awful, awful lot of Kevin De Bruyne, essentially. So I think Kev's absolutely right. Massive reservations about uh, how far Belgium can go in this tournament. And yet, really like Canada, I've been talking them up uh, for, for a while. 
Um, you know, it's not just Alfonso Davis. Kev mentioned Jonathan David and Buchanan. You've also got Kyle Lahren up front who'll hold the ball up. He'll do a really good job. I think he's got a great chance of scoring in this game. The odds weren't that great, so that's not why I back, uh, tipped him. But I think he can bully the likes of Olderweireld and... Um, and the Tonga, and that leaves that leaves opportunities then for David and Buchanan to run in behind. Um, yeah, I think they're a solid uh, a solid uh, team really, and you know this this group is is just really really wide open. So yeah, again you look at the odds: Canada minus one forty five to score, over two and a half goals minus one thirty. You kind of combine them together, and you're getting a plus money shout on both teams scoring over two and a half goals. And you know when Belgium are shipping three goals against the likes of Estonia, you know it's not a big ask for Canada to score just one. No, without a shadow of doubt, it's not. I think it's going to be a great game. It's 2 2 p.m. Eastern kickoff on Wednesday. Um, Yeah, I've got both teams scoring here, but I've also gone with a little bit of uh, uh, insurance policy in case Belgium do put their uh, front foot forward. And remember, Canada, it's the big... It's like the best thing that could have happened to North American football. Because remember, Canada, America, and the Mexicans... All here, they host the next World Cup. So what a legacy they can uh, they can really build on. Now, let's have a little look at the official picks. I've got a couple here because I think I'm, I'm, I'm on the right side and I need to play it up. So we've got Kevin De Bruyne, anytime scorer, at plus 200. By the way, if you wanted Kevin De Bruyne, anytime scorer, and one assist, then you're looking at plus 450. For me, Belgium, both teams to score at plus 240. He brings in the 2 one, three, one. Both teams to score on over 2.5 at plus 130. It's funny, these games today, we don't see many clean sheets from either. I've double dipped here because I've gone in again. Belgium and over 2.5 at plus 110, just in case they win the game first. 3 0. Uh, I think I've got both bases covered, and if I do win 3 0, then uh, I'm more than happy just to take my point one for being right. 